Statistics from 2018 indicate that an estimated 60 million Nigerians are deprived of clean water, while another 120 million lack access to decent toilet facilities. As a result of this deprivation, 46 million people still practice open defecation. As various political parties campaign for votes in the forthcoming general elections, international development agencies and the civil society want citizens to channel their energy to extracting promises from the candidates that they will tackle the problem of water supply. Water is life. It's quite sad that today people are more concerned about stomach infrastructure, not even access to road or access to electricity because of the poverty level. But come to think of it, adequate water, you can even generate electricity from adequate water. And if you go to our hospitals today, most of, our, most of the cases are waterborne diseases. If you look at why do we have high level of out-of-school children in Nigeria, it's because there is no proper water sanitation and hygiene facility. Using the hashtag vote for wash, parties and candidates are expected to sign up to the program, which will provide the platform for citizens to hold them accountable while in office. As far as the election is concerned, water should be a priority for whoever wants to seek the vote for Nigerians. That people should ensure that they are asking every political aspirant or candidate what is their plan for water and sanitation. Only recently, the federal government declared a state of emergency in the water sector, which is an indication of how dire the issues of water supply and sanitation and hygiene have become in the country. From Abuja, Hi Sentume, STV News.